guys, today is the day. I'm today. so excited. I have been eyeing this greenhouse for the longest time because I wanted to start a garden and we have had so many wild animals in our backyard. It that is just, wild. They eat all How the many? wild, wild animals. They eat everything and everything we've planted has been devoured. And so uh, we've been talking for a while about getting a greenhouse and- I thought it was brown. <laughs> what? <laughs> Good one, babe, good one. But we've been talking for a while about getting a greenhouse and wanting to start our own garden and just planting a few of our favorites. The kids want to plant some um, strawberry bushes and that kind of thing. Jalapenos, cilantro, <laughs> tomatoes, But the first tomatoes. thing we needed, the first thing we needed though was a greenhouse so that it doesn't instantly get eaten. So yes. I'm super excited to go home and put this together. Remember when we planted a tree? <laughs> we first a had, bunch of trees. And we planted a bunch of stuff and it just always gets eaten. It always gets taken. Like, like we've had whole place. like live trees. Like full on Yeah, real trees, babe. And then <laughs> and then they're like gone. It's like real ones, guys, not even fake ones. They no, ate I just the feel real like ones. they're not like seeds. They were like and then the next yeah. thing you know, the next day it's like, where did our trees go? Yeah, that's what happens. Wow. Hi buddy. Did you miss us? Hi. Did you miss us? Are you waiting for us to come home? Oh my goodness gracious. Okay guys, so we were taking a little bit of time here to kind of survey where we want to put our greenhouse yeah. and also because I want to have like a chicken coop near where we're going to have our garden and all of that. So I think we're going to actually chicken end up- Chicken coop, goats. Yeah, all the good maybe stuff. eventually a couple of goats. I feel like that would be like last step. We're like we can work up to it. Garden, yeah. then chickens, then maybe some goats. Maybe a dairy cow and a meat cow and a... No, we're not, I don't think we're gonna do cows. Alpaca cows. farm. Cows are, I think, a little out of my league, but. Some sheep. I'm just like gonna keep adding things on. But we and do. And on that farm, yeah. We have a couple of issues though, um, in the sense that, well, first we need to move our RV that we still have. It's still over here. <laughs> Yeah. So we got to get that taken care of. We're Which gonna is actually... on the list anyway because like yeah. I want to have grass, you know, and that, it won't grow over there. But well, I we want don't... a lush yard. But like, yeah, yeah, we don't want an RV in our front yard forever. Right. Like that's yeah. obviously not good. Um, but we do have a couple of acres over behind the barn this way. Um, don't know if you saw that, but there are a couple of acres over there. And so we could park it over there because we do have yeah. family that still uses the RV from time to time. So we don't really want to sell it at least yet. Um, so we can just put it over there and then it will be behind the barn, yeah. not in our yard. And so that will work out well. And then we'll have this space for the chicken coop and the garden and I'll continue to like have some kid play stuff over there too. So that's, yeah. that'll be really great. But as we were walking around the yard to figure out exactly where we want to place it, I noticed some standing water, um, over by our septic. Not just water guys. Well, it doesn't actually, at first I thought it was legitimately water. Thankfully it doesn't smell horrible. It's but, toilet paper but there's some and toilet paper and other things so we just realized there's um i think it's starting to maybe back up or there's an issue of some sort yeah. obviously so we just called the plumber and we're hoping to have him come out today or tomorrow because we have to get that fixed before we can do anything else obviously we don't want to have things backing up into our yard yeah. so that is a little bit worrisome and by a little bit i mean a lot to me um so we're going to get that taken care of first so I think the rest of the day, uh, the rest of today is kind of out for us to like get started on this yeah. because we certainly need to get the septic stuff taken care of right. first. Um, but Lincoln's about to come home off the bus, and yeah. so um, you know we can work on a couple of things inside and just spend some time with the kids because it has been really busy lately. And then this weekend, hopefully everything will be geared up and ready to go for us to finally build our greenhouse. I'm so excited. It's and just the beginning, guys. Yeah, we've got, we've got quite a project ahead of us, but I'm really <laughs> excited. I've, like, yeah. We've been talking about this for a couple of years, so I'm definitely ready for step one of turning this into like a little homestead. A little right? homestead, little prepper space. As you can see, here is the water that's standing, and here is the little cap that was hooked up to the RV originally, um, and since has been disconnected, but things are starting to bubble up from the ground. So that's really not good. So we gotta get that taken care of. And then um, we can unload everything here. We have two big boxes 
Shout out to Costco because I think it's gonna be a really, really cute greenhouse. I heard a lot of really great reviews and we have some friends that bought it. So I think that that's gonna work really well. Um, so I'm excited to actually build that. Steven's dad is gonna help us put it together because he has built a lot of stuff and he's a woodworker and just really great with that. And he actually lives here now. So um, he's gonna help us put that together, but we gotta take care of that first. Yeah. Hi, come here. <laughs> Oh, oh, you're so sweet. Hey, what does your shirt say? First grade dude? Where are you going? You following Jude? We got a package, huh? You can go up. Oh, big strong boy. Big strong boy. Look at how well he does those steps now. You ready to just go inside? Thank you. We got Steven's like realtor signs out here. We need to move those to the garage, but he has been very, very busy doing a lot of open houses on the weekends, and so he'll put up his signs, and I don't, I, something's going on over there, I just heard a saw. Um, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, he's having so much fun, and we're super proud of him. Also, look at that face. Who would not love that face? Oh, there you go. Hey, buddy. Are you such a big boy? I love my soccer ball. You got that one for Christmas, huh? Oh. Angus really wants attention. <laughs> I know, yeah. The boys are kicking the ball really far, huh? I think Lincoln might have had an accident at yeah, school yeah. because he's in a different outfit that is not our clothes. So we'll need to check his backpack and see if we need to do some washing. That happens from time to time. Did you make a mess at school? Yeah. Say, uh-oh. That's okay. <laughs> Okay, did it get you? He got you on the shoulder, that's silly. You take it inside? Can you use your left hand? Oh, Lincoln, that was good. Good trying. So we've been working hard in therapy, using our left hand some. It's really hard, but you're doing it, huh? Oh, gosh, oh you're getting so big. Mm. Want the raspberries? Mm. Ooh, these are so yummy, huh? Oh, sorry, it's out for your bowl. Take that peel down a little bit. There you go. That's better. Oh, mm. oh, thank you. <laughs> You're staring. That's so nice. Oh, oh, thank you. That's so nice. You're sharing all of your snackies. <laughs> He's feeding you too. He was putting them in my mouth too. Oh, Angus. <laughs> That's so funny, Linky. You like to share, huh? <laughs> we share our strawberries and raspberries. That's so nice. Okay, so I wanted to take a quick second and say thank you to Nutrafol for sponsoring this video. And guys, I'm really trying to focus on my hair health this year, especially from the inside out. I've really been wanting to work on regrowing my hair and I feel like from the inside out is like the best way, right? Because a lot of times, what you see on the outside is a reflection of your health on the inside. And so I've been really interested in Nutrafol and I've been taking it for a few months and I've really been liking the results. So Nutrafol is a clinically proven daily hair growth supplement for women ages 18 to 44. And they have supplements for postpartum, vegan, balance, and even men, which Steven's been taking their supplements and really liking them as well. So this is the women's version right here. And then Steven's taking the men's version. And I like that they're in these glass bottles. I feel like it's really high quality. It keeps it really fresh. And then you just take four of these a day with a meal. And a lot of times I'll take it with my afternoon snack when the kids get off the bus. And so that's what I'm doing now. It's like an easy way to just kind of remember when the kids get home from school, I take my supplements with snacks. So it works out really well that way. Another thing that I love about Nutrafol is that it is made from 100% drug-free ingredients. And that is really important to me. So it has things like ashwagandha, marine collagen peptides, saw palmetto, and even curcumin. I've been taking it for a few months now and I do feel like I'm already starting to see a little bit of thicker, healthier hair coming in. And I'm just gonna stay consistent with it because consistency is key with things like hair growth and so I'm really looking forward to continuing to see more results. If you want to join me in committing to healthy hair with Nutrafol this year you can click the link in our description box and get $50 off your first three months or $106 off your first six months. What are you doing up there? We are trying to pull all the attachments in but there's so many leaves and foliage oh, yeah. that we're having to clean it up a lot. Yeah. I bet so, you there are a bunch of leaves up there. It's fun though. It's like it's a great view of our house. I was taking, a, I was just taking a picture of the house. I was like, God, I love our house. Just be careful up there. You have seven children that need you. 
Hey man, and a wife. Life insurance policy would be really Stop! Nice. Uh, don't joke like that. Okay. You think those kinds of things are so funny. Men, what uh, in the world? Steven and Pappy are getting all the leaves brushed off and um, then we'd be able to move it. But Yeah, this one. We'll see if this one will go in now. Now that it's been cleaned off real good. You just gotta be super careful, okay? I know you're a big kid, so I know you'll be really careful and responsible, right? Yeah. yeah. Definitely, as a mama, it makes me a little nervous letting our kids, like, do things that are maybe a little bit dangerous, but teaching them how to be responsible is also really important, so having to let go a little bit. <laughs> Can't believe we lived in this thing for, like, over a year, off and on. That was wild. Oh my goodness, is it moving? You say, yeah, it is. Did you get your ball? Boo. Boo. He is so silly. So a little update on Lincoln. Um, he's been doing really well in therapy. He's still doing physical therapy and occupational therapy every week. And he also does therapies through the school. Um, so kind of both of those and so we're just continuing to work on that But he has been really really healthy since he came home from his last surgery You know he had like four or five surgeries this past year and we have thankfully seen no symptoms um, Since he came home the last time so he's been doing really well He's eating well sleeping well has good energy and has regained most of his stamina again and so yeah, so thankfully uh, we don't see, we don't foresee any issues um, for now. Um, I feel like he's just been feeling really well and is continuing to do so. So we're very, very grateful for that. Do you miss living in the RV? A little bit. A little bit, really? I think the older kids would say no, but it was kind of fun for you. That's good. It was at least a, an experience, huh? <laughs> you can definitely smell the sewage a little bit now. Yeah, you can. That stinks. Literally. <laughs> Our water is really, really high. Actually, it's quite a bit lower than it was a few days ago. It totally flooded. Um, so it's not flooding now, but it is still really high. Let's see. It's so beautiful from the kitchen windows. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. yeah. You gonna hug him now? <laughs> Good morning guys, it is a beautiful day outside today. I'm super excited for the good weather because today is the day that we are putting together the greenhouse and yesterday was super cold, so it's a little bit milder today. We've got blue skies. I think it's gonna be a good day to get it taken care of. So I'm looking forward to that. Lincoln and I just got dressed. Lincoln, are we matching? So we both have our overalls on. Yeah, it is a little chilly, so he might stay inside, but I'm sure he'll be coming in and out and just kind of seeing what we're doing. Lincoln, you look so cute in your camo. Yeah. I know, uh -huh. thank you. Do you want to say hi? Say good morning. Uh -huh. Good morning. So we are ready to go. Oh, you guys are so cute. You enjoying the sunshine too? Hi, Angus. You guys are. It's a good day, isn't it? Nice weather, that's for sure. You guys are so cute. Oh my gosh. Can you move this? <laughs> They're very, very heavy. Very. Grab that side, okay? Oh gosh. <laughs> you can grab that in for me? Think you lift up Maybe on you it? better get this in. Think you can pick up on it? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty heavy, huh? heavy. Hey, did you come to help? Yeah. yeah. I was like, I came to see yeah. the craziness. Yeah. Yeah, you got your soccer ball. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It says step two, part one. Okay. At the bottom of one left post and one right post, 1108 and 1109. Right post attach one. Front base. A little longer than a few minutes later. Wood screws per post. Does it have a diagram? Yeah, they come over. Yeah. I got you, brother. Yeah. Oh. 
Okay. This is going to be a long day. This is going to be a long day. It's okay. We're going to have fun. Yeah, we're going to have fun. We're going to have fun. Have fun. Right. And we're going to have a greenhouse. We'll yeah. put plants in it at the end of it. Okay, so we've been going back and forth a little bit today because originally we were thinking that we were going to just build the greenhouse on the basketball court and then be able to scooch it over to where we want it to go. Um, it's super heavy. Yeah. Well, we yeah. were thinking that the reason we're like a little bit concerned about like putting it in the yard right now is because our septic guy was saying he is yeah. going to come back next week and he thinks he might have to dig up certain parts of the yard, which is not exciting. Yeah. Um, so we obviously want to steer clear of that. But Steven's dad, who's really great at building things, was saying right. that he doesn't recommend moving it just the way that it's built um, and with like pretty small screws and stuff. So we want to go ahead and lay a base and get it in the spot that it's going to be staying in yeah. and just have it far enough away from anything that could, you know, be messed with around um, the septic and all of that. And so. Right. So we were kind of figuring out where we wanted that to be and Steven's dad has a tractor so he's gonna level the ground a little bit because it's kind of sloped. Um, and so we need to pick up a few supplies for the base yeah. and then we're gonna get that base going and try to get at least some of this greenhouse built and then um, we'll ha probably have to take another day later this week to finish it up and maybe yeah. he'll be able to take a little bit of time off. He's <laughs> super busy with all of his real estate stuff. So we're trying to like squeeze it in here and there um, but it's just, it's a busy season for us. Yeah. And so we're going to make it happen though. And then after that, we're going to build a chicken coop. And so yeah. that's going to be great. But today we're just going to be laying the foundation, making sure we do it the right way. So we don't have any issues in the future. Right. Mm -hmm. We got Linky with us too. Linky, are you ready to go into the store? Yeah, that store. <laughs> you get to go in. He's like, wait, what? We're going okay. To he brought his favorite little toy too. Oh. Oh yeah, Linky. Oh. He's so cute. He's just been like wandering around the yard as we've been trying to like survey it and like prep it, everything. And it was just so cute. He was like really interested in the tractor. I'm hoping he'll like maybe climb up there with your dad and be so take a little cute. ride. Oh my god. He was a little nervous. He was like a little apprehensive. But... It's big and loud. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. But he was actually doing really well with the loud sound. Sometimes yeah. we don't like loud sounds. Okay, buddy, you ready to go in and help us? Yeah. Okay, let's yeah, do yeah. it. Let's go. You guys look so cute, twinsing in oh, your overalls. Man. Yeah, we're ready to go. Lead the way. Snacky daddy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Here we go, Snacky, and we're sharing. Linky was a big boy at the store, weren't you, Lincoln? And we got a little snack as a reward, huh? Over here having a cookie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bye, yeah. Angus, are you trying to? <laughs> Boo. Boo. I love you so much. You're so cute. Yeah. You're just so cute and sweet. So we are getting our foundation laid and we've got some beams that we're gonna be drilling into. And we've got some pebbles um, that we're gonna be putting down as well just to get a really solid um, yeah, yeah. foundation yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. yeah Lincoln. Whoa. I know, Whoa. see we got the tractor.
say you look incredibly good doing that. <laughs> Putting the walls up. Angus, are you excited about this? It's finally like happening. Multi-day project and we are finally putting the walls together. That's how I imagined it going on Sunday. She's a beef cork. Beautiful. Looks good on you. I think we're done. First step to your green thumb. Close enough, right? That's close enough. I think yeah. this will definitely act as a pretty good little greenhouse as yeah. is. <laughs> Do you find Pappy? My greenhouse. Wee! Thank you, bud. You want to go inside? Look, there's an opening right there. Yeah. Oh, hug Daddy too. That's so nice. Step up over it. Good job. <laughs> That's so cute. You gonna help us, Linky? Yeah. Okay. That's nice. So pumped and really excited. excited. Huh? So excited. <laughs> All right, so it's the end of day four. We thought we were going to be able to do this in one or two days, but that is so typical of us. And, and all of our screws, screwdrivers, drill, whatever they're called, they're all dead. So <laughs> the, the we're going to need to charge it up. Screwdrivers are dead, yeah. The screwdrivers are dead. But the sun is setting and it's beautiful. So and um, so we're gonna finish this up, but look, we have walls. We got it. And we have a sturdy floor that has been attached. I really well. do think this would have been like a maybe two day project, but the we needed to level the ground. That took some time, build all this yeah. stuff. My dad has been like, the man helping us get this done because he knows all he already things. did all this in California before he moved here and so like he knows how he's doing and he's helping us do it here we've got Yay. like a little farm 2.0 happening over here so the thank man. you happy <laughs> <laughs> and so we're really close we're gonna put on the roof and the doors uh, the door the one singular door tomorrow <laughs> and then we're gonna be done so yes. pick this back up tomorrow for the final little stretch oh, and then yeah. it'll be done. Yeah. I'm so excited. I'm proud of us. I'm proud of us. And I'm, I'm proud too. of you guys for sticking with us this far <laughs> in the video. Thank you so much. Make sure you comment that what this timestamp is, whatever this timestamp is, that you stay with you were here the whole time and we'll give you a treat. I don't know what it'll be. It'll be awesome. <laughs> It's warmer in greenhouses than outside, yeah. It's cold out here. Yeah, it'll be warmer in there and it'll protect all of the plants from the deer and the turkeys and all the animals that eat everything we've tried to plant in the past, right? We've tried to plant a few things and it's all gotten eaten up. But they'll be safe in here. need now is the door. the door and then there's some nice shelves some that shelves go inside on one of the sides and the whatnots for all the things i'm so excited about this <laughs> yeah <laughs> you can see yourself there can't you <laughs> um, looking at me <laughs> so so this is day five of building our greenhouse and at this point all we need mm -hmm. is a door. the door and the shelves yeah. and obviously the plants so I think we're gonna go ahead and sign off here yeah. and in our next video we have a lot of fun projects coming up actually Thank you. several things that we have been waiting to do for a long time and now is the time and now I'm so excited time. that we're getting some momentum and can't wait for the chickens yeah. and we have some indoor stuff as well stuff at the house that we're doing yeah so we're really excited and uh, we'll continue to show you all the fun stuff but stay tuned and we'll have another one really soon Lincoln do you want to say bye-bye do you want to say bye-bye 
-hmm. Say bye bye, friend. <laughs> You're so huggy today. Yeah, Say bye. You love me. Thank you. Thank you. Love High me. five. There we go. High five. This is the best. For your namesake, you will.